summertime. Hey. Summer, summertime. Hey. Summer, summertime. Hey. Summer, summertime. Hey. Soft. I'm with Yo, my people, what's going on? It's Elijah Fenn here. We're Fenn Unboxing, back with another one. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, Paul's Fight Review, um, Andy Ruiz against... Andy Ruiz against... Um, she's man, what's his name again? <laughs> Chris Ariola. Yeah, okay. So, the new improved Andy Ruiz against Chris Ariola. So, obviously, everyone knows Andy Ruiz got dropped in the second round by Ariola. Got buzzed. I can't remember what round it was. He got buzzed as well. Um... To be honest with you, this whole fight, yeah, shocked me. And I'm going to be honest with you, I was not even out. I was not going to step to watch it because I honestly couldn't care about the fight. I was like, uh, I couldn't see a Ruiz stoppage. But Chris Ariola came, he showed up, he showed up. Back foot game, Chris Ariola, you know. Working on the back foot. Guard up, defence, Ariola, not, not defending with his head. Um, Andy Ruiz. Same for like footwork, the head movement, what obviously stuff that he's been working with Eddie Reynoso. Yeah, like definitely seen improvements with Andy Ruiz, but I'm gonna be real. Everyone's referring to oh, you know, heavy um obviously heavy it only takes one punch in heavyweight boxing, yeah. To be honest with you, based on that performance, I'm not even referring to it as ring rust or anything, but yeah, I will not you can't put you can't put Ruiz up there um, to beat the top guys. Like, just based on that performance there, Joshua will beat him. Joshua can't comfortably beat him. I feel, I feel like, and I'm not going to, I don't know about stopping, stopping him, because the thing is with Ruiz now, and I, I always will say that, because he's lost so much body fat, and that fat, yeah, like that weight would have kept him up. Now, I just feel, yeah, I just feel, he gets clipped, he's going to go. And I mean, go, go. Like, uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely, like I said, yeah, he did, like, Ariola, like I said, it was a, it was a sharp, it was a, it was a sharp one too. Uh, yeah, I just, I don't know, man, I don't know. I feel, I feel like, Even though it's been, I swear it's been like over a year, isn't it? Yeah, it's been over. What, he last fought Joshua in December 2019, so it's been a year, a year and five months or something like that. But yeah, as an overall, I just feel, yeah, he's a bit, he's a bit, he's a bit too vulnerable for me at the moment. Like he, he, him going in there against the big guys, like a Wilder, like yeah, I feel like a Wilder would catch him. If Wilder clipped him, he would have been gone. If Joshua clipped him, he would have been gone. Yeah, I just don't feel like he would have... But the only thing with Joshua is the mental block thing. It's the mental block thing. Would he feel comfortable enough? If he's in there against a Dylan White, he it will go. Uh, yeah, obviously... Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit like this with Ruiz. That, that performance, obviously, I need to see him out there again. But definitely, as in when we talk about his boxing, his boxing's improved. Head movement, footwork... Uh, yeah, moving his torso a lot, like all of that. Yeah, all of that's improved, but I just don't feel, as far as um, taking the punch, I just don't feel like he'd be able to take a punch like he like he could before. That's just my personal opinion on it. Uh, yeah, that's 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 all I can say about that. Ariola, though, big respect, and another thing as well, though, those those scorecards once again, joke, a big joke. How the hell are you giving man? I think like, I can't remember what the scorecards were. Yeah, but. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Don't get twisted. Ruiz was the winner from what I see of that. Was the winner. But, yeah, it, it's... it's those, those scorecards are ridiculous, man. You need to fix up. Like, like I said, all these judges, man, need to fix up. And that's why, like I said, it's time... It's like even I'm going to be talking about the whole Billy Joe thing in the next video. But it's just that, yeah, you need to really kind of fix up. These, these judges need to really fix up, man. Like... And and it's not even like like the whole boards like the whole yeah it's, it's a joke like close fights show it for what it is don't, don't because obviously ugh, no, 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 man. that's the thing with boxing you're always gonna you're always gonna be getting this over and over and over again all these flipping robberies all these like ridiculous scorecards all these it's like a thing is over and it's like a repeated cycle over and over again but yeah overall 
um, for Ruiz. I would like to see Ruiz in there against, say, you know what would be a solid... They won't, it won't happen, but you know you know a fight. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah? It just came to my head right now. You know what fight I would actually love um, Ruiz to go up against? Chisora. Yeah. War Chisora against Ruiz Jr. Mate. Yeah, that that would that would that would that would be that would be a mix up boy. That would definitely be a mix up. Um if Parker yeah, wait a minute, they, they think they're gonna issue that that rematch because yeah, there's all there's a lot of question marks over that. Still need to watch it again so I could give uh, my my final prediction. Sorry, I'll give my final scorecards on that. But from what I saw the first fight, definitely watching it live. Just sure it looked like he was winning that comfortably. So yeah, obviously later, later on, whatever way got fatigue and that. And I think it was, I can't remember what round it was, but yeah, I, I just saw just show her just winning, uh, cause it, winning that by at least two to three rounds. But anyway, back onto Ruiz and Junior. Sorry, Ruiz Junior and um, Ariola. Yeah, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, Ariola. I don't know where he goes from here. Yeah, yeah, I don't know where he goes from here. But one thing I will say, you could tell like he he trained for this fight. Like he was in the best condition, best condition, best. Um, yeah, he was in the best condition. Sharp, everything. Yeah, he put he put everything into this. But yeah, I just don't I don't know why Ariola didn't do this years ago. Like if he if he done this if he done this years ago, he could have been the first Mexican. Mexican American, whatever. He would have been the first guy, but hey, you know what? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens next. But you lot tell me your thoughts. Uh, as Elijah Fenn with Fenn Unboxing, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until the next one, stay blessed, everyone, all right? Cool. Summertime. Summer, summertime. Free stuff. I'm with Blake.